हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ नेहा प्रकाश कासिवड़े एंड माई ग्रुप मेम्बर्स आर प्रणोती खायबाड़ प्रांजल सांबरे ऋतुजा दवने निकिता ठोमरे नेहा किरपन एंड अदिति विषय वी आर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ थर्ड इयर बी फार्मसी टूडे वी आर परफॉर्मिंग प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ मैक्रोस्कोपी एंड माइक्रोस्कोपी ऑफ सिन्नामॉन बार्क अंडर द गाइडन्स ऑफ डॉक्टर मनीषा विट्टे मैम एम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल इज टू स्टडी द मैक्रोस्कोपी एंड माइक्रोस्कोपी ऑफ सिन्नामॉन बार्क Let's see the requirements of the practical. We required a chloride drug, cinnamon bark, apparatus, forceps, sharp blade, brush, slides, watch glass, cover slip, beaker, needle, dropper, and a microscope. The chemicals required are rhodium red solution, fluoroglycinol plus concentrated HCl in the ratio one is to one, iodine, and glycerin water. So let's start with practical. Take a crud drug of cinnamon bark from the beaker which is already boiled. Take that crud drug in the watch glass and in another watch glass take some water. Then place the crud drug on the slide and take the transverse section of it. Transverse section should be thin. Transfer that TS into the watch glass containing water. Take a thin TS from your watch glass onto the slide. Add a drop of glycerin onto it. Put the cover slip over it. Avoid air bubbles while putting the cover slip on the slide. This is the TS of cinnamon bark which uh, we observe under the microscope under 10x objective. Take a iodine solution and dilute it with water for staining purpose. Take a thin TS from your watch glass and mix it with the staining reagent. Then place the tears on the slide and put the cover slip over it. Observe it under the microscope. This is the tears of cinnamon bark after staining with iodine solution. It shows blue color which indicates the presence of starch. Same procedure follow for fluoroglycinol plus concentrated HCl solution staining. This is the TS of cinnamon bark after staining with fluoroglycinol plus concentrated HCl solution. It shows pink or fuchsia color which indicates the presence of lignified cells, pericyclic fibers, stone cells and cork cells. Thank you for watching this video.